Hey there, Farellers. just a little different because it's not actually in the key of G although I do have the banjo tuned to the key of G in the it's tuned to open G with the exception that I have the fifth string tuned up to an A so everything else is open G except for the fifth string which is tuned up to an A just because in in this particular case it sounds a little better because the songs really in the key of D Anyway, so the way I start the intro on this song is I'm playing what we call a double stop. At least on guitar it's called double stop. I'm pretty sure it must be called double stop on banjo, but in any event. So I'm really doing the strum, but I'm breaking down on two strings. So it's, and I'm starting here. And even though I'm only playing these two strings, if I were to bar fully across here, that's a D. So this is still, if I'm just striking these two strings, a D, even though the other strings are ringing a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm starting there, and then sliding down, and that becomes a C, even though it still has the other strings ringing. So that gives it kind of a... So I'm going from, this is really a D, and then I'm dropping these two fingers down behind so that now I'm playing with the first finger on the third fret of the second string and this finger at the fourth fret on the third string. And that actually ends up being a G. So it's... And then slide from there, slide it down. And that becomes a D7. So it's... So the original song, Stuck in the Middle with You, actually on guitar, has that as the intro, something very similar. And when I used to play the song on guitar, that's how I, I played it. But 
Now, if that's too difficult for you, you can do it just by doing G to C to open G back to D. So it's so you can. That's the same thing. Same chords. I'm just doing it a different place. It has a slightly different sound, but. to get into the real song. So once you've played your intro either two or four times, you're going to go right into a D. Now in this case I really do more of a power D. Here, just the two-finger D. So it's... And I'm not always doing it the same way. You know, so sometimes it's... Sometimes it's kind of a hammer on. So it's. And sometimes I'm hammering on here with. The... Now, my hands aren't really very big, so you may find it easier. Certainly, Patrick would probably find it easier to do with the third string and hammer on here. My hands aren't that big, so for me it's easier to do with the little finger, but it's whatever whatever works best for you. Anyway, so that's how you're doing the main, uh, the verses. So it's... Well, I don't know why I came here tonight Got the feeling that something ain't right I'm so... Now it goes into G. Okay, so really it's just D to G to D for the verses. And I'm throwing a little variations, you know, even on the G, I sometimes I'm doing a slide up. Or you can just play the straight, you know, G. Now goes into the refrain or the chorus, which starts with an A. So it's clowns to the left, clowns to the left of me, and it goes to a C, G. So it's clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right here, I am stuck in the middle with you. And it goes into the second verse. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. It's so hard to take the smile from my face. Losing control, I'm all over the place. So it's really, again, it's just a D, G, D. And that goes back into the clowns. Clowns to the A, clowns to the left of me, C, quick to, quickly to G, to D. So clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am. into the bridge um, and that's in that start that's a G to D so it's just again G well you started out with nothing and you're proud that you're a self-made man so I tend to do little slides in there to make it feel a little more country-ish so so you started out with to D. Now what I usually do in there is I kind of slide into it. I kind of start up here and just... It gives a little bit of a slide guitar effect there if you just slowly slide from one fret to another. And you start it out with nothing and you're proud that you're a self-made man. Now it goes again. I'm doing slide in, and then to A. And now it goes into just a little solo, which is really just G. It just it goes from uh, D to G, and then to A.
So the solo that goes in here, what I'm doing is I'm actually barring, I'm sliding up. That's a D that I hear at the seventh fret, a bar straight across. slide guitar effect by sliding up like that. Now it slides to an A to C, which is at the fifth fret. Open G and then back to a D at the seventh fret. Now, then it goes back to the bridge again, you started off with nothing, that part. Started off with nothing and you found it you're a self-made man. Now, I am not a very good slide player. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm a rank beginner as a slide player. Um, it's just something I never really did. But I want to show you that even as a rank beginner, this song actually works well as a slide song, if that's what you do. Because you can do that whole. So you can really do the whole song that way. So it's. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared I keep a call on my chair. But I'm wondering how I'll get downstairs. Clowns to the left of me joke. Clowns to the left of me joke. to the right here. I have to in the middle of you. If you're better at it, it'll sound better. But it actually works really well as a song that you use a slide on. So I'm gonna go back to my old familiar fingers. But as I say, you can get a little bit of that slide feel just by taking your bar chord and sliding it up. Again, so slide to the D, slide to the D, slide, slide to the D, and A, two, three, and four. And that goes back to the main verse again, really the second verse. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle of you, and I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face. Control all over the place. Clown, clowns to the left. A, just C, G to D. And then it just, for the end of the song, it's just, yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. And that's the whole song. As I say, you can play it just normal, or you can try it with slide. And uh, I've got all these different slides, and I'm still lousy at it, really. I've got, I've got this style of slide. Um, my favorite probably is the Chrysidin bottle. I had to actually put tape on the inside because my fingers are too small, but that one works pretty, that one works pretty well. I also like this one. This is like a little... It's like a ring, and it goes on the it goes on your finger like that, and I put it between the joints on the little finger, and which means I can actually still pretty much play. But then I can just get a little bit of a slow. I'm 
also got these uh, kind of ceramic slides that I got at one point. All of these feeling like, you know, one of them would magically allow me to be better at this, but... And this one, which has actually ended up being too small for much use. But, anyway, so various sizes and styles of ineptitude. Anyway, you, uh, you guys have a lot of fun with that, and um, I will uh, see you next week. Take care.